ब्रह्म या कुंदेन्दु तुषार हार धवला या शुभ्र वस्त्रावृता या वीणा वरदंडमंडित करा या श्वेत पद्मासना या ब्रह्माच्युत शंकर प्रभुति भे देव सदा वंदिता साम पा सरस्वती भगवती निशेष जाड्या पहा शुक्ला ब्रह्म विचार सार परमा आद्या जगद्यापी वीणा पुस्तक धारिणी अभयदा जाड्यादारा पहा हस्ते स्फाटिकलिक विदधति पद्मासने संस्थिता वंदे परमेश्वरी भगवती बुद्धि प्रदान शारदा बुद्धि प्रदान शारदा बुद्धि प्रदान शारदा ओ नाद ब्रह्म Please be seated. This convocation of the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, has been called to confer degrees upon the candidates who have been certified to be worthy of receiving the same. I hereby declare the first session of the 49th con convocation open. It is my proud privilege now to introduce the chief guest of the 49th Convocation, Dr. Satish K. Tripathi, who is the 15th president of the university at Buffalo, the largest university in the State University of New York system, and a leading US public research university. The first non-US born president in UB's history he is internationally recognized as an accomplished researcher and transformative higher education leader. Dr. Triparthi took his first degree of graduation from the Banaras Hindu University and took his PhD degree in computer science from the University of Toronto. Welcome, sir. Let the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy be presented. Sir, I present the candidates of the Department of Aerospace Engineering 
who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of doctor of philosophy are considered worthy of receiving the same i recommend that they be admitted to the said degree shantanu shrivastav navroz subramanyam sadirla pramod kumar bagde sir the following candidates are not present here today they request that they be admitted to the degree of doctor of philosophy in absentia each having satisfied the requirement for the said degree is considered worthy of it i recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia pankaj priyadarshi r dhayalan v m krishna rao kotteda sir i present the candidates of the department of biological sciences and bioengineering who having satisfied the requirements of the degree of doctor of philosophy are considered worthy of receiving the same i recommend that they be admitted to the said degree tanushri vishnoy prem swarup yadav chalo kushurkar tejas sanjeev brindan tulachan sir the following candidates are not present here today they request that they be admitted to the degree of doctor of philosophy in absentia each having satisfied the requirements of the said degree is considered worthy of it i recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia priti agarwal ravi kumar varma shweta kukreja amresh chaturvedi Mamta Upadhyay, Navadita Jain, Ankur Gupta, Ayan Ray, Muhammad Suhail Rijvi, Gaurav Srivastava. Sir, I present the candidates of the Department of Chemical Engineering who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Alok Kumar Srivastava. Vinay Kumar Sachan, Dharitri Rath, Arvind Kumar Gautam, Subrata Mondal, B Dilip Kumar Sir the following candidates are not present here today they request that they be admitted to the degree of doctor of philosophy in absentia each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it i recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia manish kaushal bhaskar bahaduri rahul jagtap swati anil bai patel sir i present the candidates of the department of chemistry who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of doctor of philosophy are considered worthy of receiving the same i recommend that they be admitted to the said degree ashu choudhury biswajit santra गरिमा त्रिपाठी मिथुन सरकार शिवशंकर डी
वी कार्तिक अभिजीत कुमार दिबांशु सेल सरिता त्रिपाठी रामू पैतकम सेटी नित्यानंद साहू सामिक झुलके Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be, they be admitted to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Devjit Roy, Ishita Niyogi, Swamijit De, Archana Kumari, Deepankar Sahu, Prasenjit Daw, Kesabhananda Parida, Shibin Chako, Saona Seth, Venkata Ramana Imandi, Tapan Kumar Pal, Alok Ranjan. Sir, I present the candidates of the Department of Civil Engineering who, having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Moshumi Mukherjee. Amit Singh Johan. Dharmendra Kumar Singh. Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Durgesh Vikram, Swatantra Pratap Singh, Deepika Bhattu, Indramani Dhara, Pravesh Chandra Shukla. <coughs> Sir, I present the candidates of the Department of Computer Science and Engineering who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Amrita Chaturvedi. Kamlesh Tiwari. Puneet Gupta. Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in absentia, each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Ajit Shenoy KB, Pavan Kumar Arora, Rohit Gurjar. Sir, I present the candidates of the Department of Electrical Engineering who, having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Walker Ahmad, Sanjeev Kumar Malik, B. 
बिगनेस बी चंद्रकांत जगन्नाथ गायकवाड़ मोहम्मद वासीम अकरम अमित मुंजल अनूप शुक्ला ऑलिव रे सुधीर कुमार विवेक नंदन लाल हिमांशु भूषण बेहरा Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in Absentia. Minakshi Gupta, Mohammad Sarik, Nabin Kumar D V, Punnagati Pavani, Akhay Kumar Salimat, Kapil Jha. Sir, I present the candidates of the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences who, having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Sangamitra Panda, Shahul Amin K T. Payal Pal, Ahmed Samir, Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Vinod Kumar Rawat, Sabha Haider, Sanjay C K, Niranjan Upur, Dhruv Gupta. Sir, I present Shivam Gupta of the Department of Industrial and Management Engineering, who, having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, is considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that he be admitted to the said degree. Sir, Amritesh is not present here today. He requests that he be admitted to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in absentia. He, having satisfied the requirements for the said degree, He is considered worthy of it. I recommend that he be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Sir, I present the candidates of the Department of Materials Science and Engineering, who, having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Avisar Bhattacharya, Asit Prakash, Saumitro Mahanti. Rahul Kumar Sharma, Sutanuka Mohanty, S 
Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Rajiv Kumar Sharma, K. Venkata Ramaya, Mangalam Manolata Devi. Sir, I present the candidates of the Department of Material Science program who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Raghunandan Sharma. Soma Banerjee. Sir, I present the candidates of the Department of Mathematics and Statistics who, having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Ambuj Pandey. Alpesh Kumar. Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the Doctor of Philosophy in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Anish M. Lokpati Tripathi, Vijay Krishna Rauthu, Rani Kumari. Sir, I present the candidates of the Department of Mechanical Engineering who, having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Abhay Kumar. Muhammad Aspar. Narendra Laxman Gajviye, K. Anand, Avishek Sarkar, Rekha Raja, Ankur Gupta, Ansul Faye, Sarvesh Kumar Agnihotri. <laughs> Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Dhananjay Kumar Singh, Deshai Chaitanya Kirti Kumar, Rishi Kant, Siva Prasad AVS, Anup Basak, Murali Dharan Nayar K, Vinay Kumar Patel, Sayyad Nadim Akhtar. Sir, Dinesh Nath of the Department of Nuclear Engineering and Technology is not present here today, he requests that he be admitted to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in absentia. He having satisfied the requirements for the sage degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that he be admitted to the sage degree in absentia.
Sir, I present the candidates of the Department of Physics who, having satisfied the requirements of the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Saurabh Barua. Anirban Bagui. Dushyant Kumar. Gangadhar Behra. Gopal Juma Datta Pranati Kumar Rath Rita Pant Shraddha Sharma, Ravi Pratap Singh, Tutul Bishwash. Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Anirban Datta, Shail Pandey, Jaktap Jaydeep Manikrao, Dheeraj Pratap, Nikhil Kumar, Shubhankar Das, Vandana Yadav, Shubhash Chandra Mahapatra, Rohit Kumar. Authority vested in me as Chairman of the Senate of the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, I do hereby admit each one of these candidates to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy and charge each of them to prove worthy of the same throughout their life. All the recipients of the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, please be seated. Let the candidates for the degree of Master of Technology be presented. Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements of the degree of Master of Technology in Aerospace Engineering are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Arun Kumar C. Caesar V.S. Devain Kumar Ishwar S. Harshwardhan Muhammad Javed Prabhakaran B Pugajarasan E Rangaswami K Rutvik C. Sarath MR.
श्यामल राव सुधाकर कुमार सुरवी रघु गौंड तुलसीराम साहू मुकुंदन डी आकांक्षा वर्मा अखिल एम वी अर्चना गुल्लपल्ली अच्युत चाम्स चालडी पुनूस ज्योति संगवन साई कृष्णा के बालसुंदरम एम मक्कापति वेंकट रमन राहुल अजय देशपांडे संगीत राजशेखर शुभी गंगवार सुब्रमण्यम के विघ्नेश्वरन आर Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Master of Technology in Aerospace Engineering in Absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements of the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in Absentia. Alok Gupta, Bandra Pali Pawan, Akash Kumar, Akhil M, Arjun Singh Chauhan, Arpita Das, Avinash A, Harikant. हरी कृष्ण नार हिमांशु मिश्रा सुदर्शन के केशव शिव कुमार मोहम्मद अफजल मोहित गुप्ता एस निशांत पी राजकुमार प्रतीक दास कार्तिक कुमार रजवीर रोहन जॉर्ज चरियन संचित मित्तल श्रवण कुमार शबी सेन पी शशांक शर्मा श्री भरत बी शुभ्र शंकत कोले सूरा जार तुम्पेरी मलेना तुषार सियाग विशाल बीवी अजय कुमार अनिल कुमार नक्काला यजुर कुमार जुलकर नैन अकबर शवाब सर आई प्रेजेंट द कैंडिडेट्स हु हैविंग सेटिस्फाइड द रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ द डिग्री ऑफ मास्टर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन बायोलॉजिकल साइंसेस एंड बायो इंजीनियरिंग आर कंसीडर्ड वर्दी ऑफ रिसीविंग द सेम I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Arvind Kumar Dathor, Atif Ahmed Siddiqui, Megha Jhanji, Vasvi Tripathi. Aditi Gupta, Asam Deep Khosha, Guru Charan Kaur, Jessica Judith Nunes, Kumari Nidhi, Umanshi Rao Tela.
Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Master of Technology in Biological Sciences and Bioengineering in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements of the same degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Sachin Deshpande, Shuvas Chandra Malik. Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Master of Technology in Chemical Engineering are considered worth worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Gandam Sivanaga Babu. Prasoon Haldar. Saminaini Lakshmi Charan. Suram Hima. Talele Chandan Kishore. Katnapeli Dhimant. Naveen Rangera. Ravi Kumar Garkina. Sachin Chimpa. Sagar Manish Nahar Singh. Sagar Soro. Vidya Sagar Verma Thumati. Tatsat Banerjee. Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Master of Technology in Chemical Engineering in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Shankar Singh, Arpita Saha, Shivam Prajapati, Sombatla Lakshmi Shravani, Shrujan Singh, Siddharth Mukherjee. Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Master of Technology in Civil Engineering are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Abhay Kumar Mishra, Adars MS, Alka Tiwari, Anita Bhatt, Ashwini Tiwari, Bhushan Raj S, Biswajit Sahu, Brigendra Gautam, Gaurav Havadia, Girish Kumar Gandhi, Ganesh Kumar Singh, Helen P. Eldo, Kumar Saurav, Mariam Amir, Reshma Prasad,
सजल मित्तल शिल्पा सिंह शिविका सक्सेना शुभम गुप्ता अखिलेश अंकित आर्या अनु इब्राहिम अर्षदा मिन्ना एम दुदयकुला अनुषा गौतमन एम जावेज सलवराज डी लोखम सैम सुंदर प्रशांत कुमार बाजपाई प्रिया पांडे शिल्पा दीक्षित शुभि हरबोला वी ज्योति विकास किरार Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Master of Technology in Civil Engineering in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Naman Saklani, Kriyeluvi Nakro, Alan Skaria, Alok Pal, Anirudh Kumar Yadav. S. Sai Chand, Kunal Krishna, Lakshmi Pradeep, Madhav S., Madhurima Bhattacharya, S. Lalit Sagar, Samruddhi Pavle, Shayantan Chakraborty, Sneha Chopra, Sruti C.K., Shubhadeep Dash, Sudhendra Mandal, Suman Deslahara, S. Shreyashrao Suryarao, Swagata Kumari Shaura. Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Master of Technology in Computer Science and Engineering are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Uh, Suresh Kumar Chaudhary. Abhishek Vijay Vargya. Abhra Das Gupta. Ajay Kumar Verma. Ajit Singh, Anjan Banerjee, Arka Prabhu Chakravarti, 
बलेंदर कुमार देवज्योति दे धनंजय शर्मा गीतेश छल छलोत्रे कामना कार्तिक कल्याण सुंदरम मिर्जा मजहर अली बेग मोहम्मद महमूद मोहम्मद वमिक सैफी भड़ाडे मोहित ज्ञानेश मुक्तिनाथ विश्वकर्मा निधि जैन निखिल मधुकर भोयर निमिषा अग्रवाल पीयूष चौहान पूजा विश्वास प्रतीक नायक प्रवीण एस हेगड़े रितिका रुचिका मल्होत्रा सागर परिहार भडांगे सत्यजीत सुभाष शाश्वत चंद्रा सुवर्ण बैनर्जी शुभव्रत देवनाथ सुभाष चंद्र तिवारी सुभाषीष शाह स्वप्निल भास्कर वारके बुचाड़ेर विक्रांत लक्ष्मण आशुतोष तिवारी हर्ष भंडारी जयमिता बंसल मिलन सोमेश्वर प्रवीण कुमार सिंह प्रिया सराफ शिवानी त्रिपाठी विवेक आनंद टी कलमपल्ली जहिरा नसरीन सर द फॉलोइंग कैंडिडेट्स आर नॉट प्रेजेंट हियर टुडे दे रिक्वेस्ट दैट दे बी एडमिटेड टू द डिग्री ऑफ मास्टर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग इन एबसेंशिया 
each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Deepak, Prabhjot Singh, Abdus Samad GM, Anish Chawla, Ankit Solomon, Ankur Garg, Anuj Radhesham Sharma, Ashwin Jacob, Ayan Ghatak, Kratika Gupta, Kratika Jain, Mahajan Swapnil Sopan, Piyush Bharadwaj, Purohit Rahul Sunil, Rajesh Shubhankar, Rishabh Ashok Vaid, Srijit Ray Chaudhary, Tarun, Anirban Majumdar, Samrat Patidar, Dada Chanji Ziyan Firoz. Sir, I present the candidates who have been satisfied the requirements for the degree of Master of Technology in Electrical Engineering are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Ajit Kumar Basudevan, Abhishek Maji, Abhishek Saxena, Abhishek Singh, Aditya Suresh Rao Tundulwar, Aydula Narasimha Reddy, Alatkar Prasad Bapurao, Ambar Pakhira, Amit Kumar Meena, Ankit Bansal, Ankit Jain, Anmol Jain, Arnab Pal, Bharadwaj Kaka, Birendra Kumar Birwa, Boda Mohan, Chirag, Dadige Sri Murti, Deepak Kumar, Gaurav Pandey, Himangsu Samant, Israt Jamal, J. Mahesh Prasad Dora, Kandla Gunta Rahul Chaudhary, Kandula Shurya Bishwanath, Misram Krunjal Joginath, Aim Bhenkates, Makwana Milan Kiridbhai, Manchuri Silpa, Muhammad Imamuddin, Mriganka Mukharji, Munaga Pranit, Neha Mittal, Nirjar Rai, Nishan Chandra, Pradyum Singh, 
भूरा प्रबालिका उल्लेला भेंकट आदित्य प्रसाद राहुल राहुल रंजन झा राजेश आनंद यादव रामप्रियन एम रांधी साई किशोर राणे साहिल सीताराम सुभदा रविंदर कुमार सिंह चौधरी सना के रोहित लागामन्ना सचिन वशिष्ठ सागर एस श्रावण पतिहार साहा मिथिल दीपक भाई शेर बहादुर यादव श्याम अग्रवाल सोमद्युति पॉल सोनू कुमार श्रीका कुलापू विवेक सुमित कुमार स्वरूप सुमन पात्रा बनापरी भेंकट श्रीनिवास बेमला रेडी चंद्रशेखर रेडी विश्वप्रभात विवेक श्रीवास्तव निखिल कुमार अखिलेश राज अजित सिंह यादव आकांक्षा अग्रवाल अनुभव श्रीवास्तव आकीब मुस्ताफा अरिजित सेन भरदे अश्विनी दिलीप बरनवाल पवन कुमार बिंदु कुमार बोबा प्रणित सी एस सुमंत चंद्रेयी भौमिक पाटाले शांतनु दीपक राव गोपीकृष्णन जी गुंडा रेडी वेंकटा कृष्ण रेडी जाधव ऐश्वर्या उदय सिंह ज्योति रोत कुमारी दिव्या सिंह यादव कुर्णिका मारी ओम प्रकाश एल चिरंजीवी मणिकंठ लक्षित नागर 
लक्ष्मण प्रसाद गोस्वामी महेंद्र जलखेदिया मोहम्मद अतिबुद्दीन मोहित राजपूत मोहम्मद साफी केटी नेगी कुंज अग्रवाल ओम पांडे पवन शर्मा पलाश कटियार पखरे पंकज रंजन पंकज शेगावकर पारस गुप्ता पीयूष तापादिया पूनम अग्रवाल प्रीति यादव रिपन देवरी रूपा लाहिरी कल्लूरी सचिन शर्मा समीर अहमद सिद्दीकी संचारी सेन शर्मा गुडला संदीप संजना चोप्रा सत्यजीत पांडा सौरभ टंडन सायंतन चक्रवर्ती सौम्या थोमास सृष्टि मेहरा स्वरूप रंजन मिश्रा वरुणा एबी विनी गुप्ता यशिका शर्मा योगेंद्र साहू योगेश पाल सिंह सर द फॉलोइंग कैंडिडेट्स आर नॉट प्रेजेंट हियर टुडे दे रिक्वेस्ट दैट दे बी एडमिटेड टू द डिग्री ऑफ मास्टर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग इन एफसेंसिया ईच हैविंग सेटिस्फाइड द रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर द सेट डिग्री इज कंसीडर्ड ओर्दी ऑफ इट आई रिकमेंड दैट ईच ऑफ दे बी एडमिटेड टू द सेट डिग्री इन एफसेंसिया देवकी नंदन शर्मा फुलेरथ पाम अरित्र मित्र आयुष अग्रवाल भार्गव नारायण बी बोल्लुरु प्रवीण श्री लक्ष्मीकांत राव दधानिया विश्व चंदुलाल 
धनचुका कार्तिक गार्ग्लेवार अनिकेत नरेंद्र गौरव घाटक गुडला अजय कुमार हुकमा राम जे जी श्रीनाथ जयप्रकाश के पी ज्योत्ना एस कंचन कुमार गोरे मनोज कुमार नरेश एस नेल्लूर निर्देश सिंह पंकज कुमार मिश्रा पंकज कुमार पृथ्वीराज सिन्हा राहुल जैन राजीव कुमार सचिन देव रान्याल सचिन एन कल कल कलकूर सागली सुनील कुमार रेड्डी सिरीगी रेड्डी सुधाकर रेड्डी सोनू शर्मा जोगेश धरमवाल अमित अग्रवाल नमन जैन नूर मोहम्मद इभी Sir, I present the candidates who, having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Master of Technology in Environmental Engineering and Management, are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Dhanya Das, Kanika Bahel. Kusum Ninama, Mayank Gupta, Om Prakash Chaudhary, Prafulla Pokhara, Rahul Silori, Ruparoti Chakraborty, Shankar Prasad Yadav, Shruti Bansal. Udit Singh, Ankita Ajay Jain, Anshuman Satpati, Rinmoy Chakraborty, Prashanjit Pal, Rushendra Nath Suramoju. Saifi Izhar. Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Master of Technology in Environmental Engineering and Management in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Randhir Singh Yadav, Shivansh Srivastava, Vivek Kumar Tiwari, Varun Kumar. Sir, I present Sana Khan, who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Master of Technology in Geological Technology is considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that she be admitted to the said degree.
Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Master of Technology in Industrial Management Engineering are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Akash, Akash Pushkar. Bablu Kumar. Govindalal Kumavat. Neeraj Gangwal. Prachi Salkia. Praditi Nanda. Prakar Gupta. Saladi Padmanabha Chandu. Ankita Malvia. Arshtosh Kumar. Basana Gauda Patil. Divay Garg. Faisan Mahmad Siddiqui. Kamal Kumar Gupta. Prachi Agarwal. Prachi Lalit. Purba Chatterjee. Ranjan Mishra. Rati Sankal Mahesh Surekha. Ritika Kapoor. Sharad Kumar. SK Rafi Ahmad. Srishti Gaudam. Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Master of Technology in Industrial and Management Engineering in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements of the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Atano Mandal, Kamal Sanguri, Saumya Bhatta, Sushil Punia. Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirement for the degree of Masters of Technology in Materials Science and Engineering are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Ashish Kumar Kasar. S. Gangadharan. Mukund Manish, Nirmal Dulai, Sunil Kumar, Taraknath Narayan Chand Mehti, Bhupend Kumar Dangi, Mohit Sanbui, Sanjay Chaudhary,
शुभांकर खारा सुमित कुमार मौर्य उज्जवल बंसल यंगू पुष्पलता देवी पेट पिल्ली महेश कुमार रूबिया हसन सर द फॉलोइंग कैंडिडेट्स आर नॉट प्रेजेंट हियर टुडे दे रिक्वेस्ट दैट दे मे बी एडमिटेड टू द डिग्री ऑफ मास्टर्स ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन मेटीरियल साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग इन एबसेंशिया ईच हैविंग सेटिस्फाइड द रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर द सेट डिग्री इज कंसिडर्ड वर्दी ऑफ इट I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Rajan Vishwas, Somava Chakravarti, Subanta Majumdar, Tuhin Dev, Vakmare Vikram, Sanjeevan Shakuntala, Vinay Kumar Thakur. sir i present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of master of technology in material science program are consider worthy of receiving the same i recommend that they be admitted to the said degree akriti raj abhay prakash tiwari avanindra kumar pande भावना घाय विनीत कुमार हरि प्रकाश हरविजय सिंह ज्योति तिवारी रघुनंदन बी आयर राहुल वर्मा राजीव कुमार विशाल कुमार चक्रधरी परेश टकर अल्लाहद रामचंद्रा कुमारी मिलन सिंह मुर्कुटे प्रतीक विनोद सलमान खान शशांक सिंह शिवानी गौर सर द फॉलोइंग कैंडिडेट्स आर नॉट प्रेजेंट हियर टुडे दे रिक्वेस्ट दैट दे बी एडमिटेड टू द डिग्री ऑफ मास्टर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन मेटीरियल साइंस प्रोग्राम इन एप्शंशिया each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it i recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia amrut c nikhila b avigyan choudhary sir i present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of master of technology in mechanical engineering are considered worthy of receiving the same 
I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Mateen Ahmed. Kulkarni Aniruddha Arvind. Abhijit Karmakar. Deepak Ashok Pawar. G. Thulsiram. Istalkar Dayanand Vilas. Kantilal Solanki. Krishna Kumar Yadav. Mayank Chaudhari. Parasnath Varma. Pranav Jivan P. Priyodarshan. Ravikant Madhav. Saurav Kuhar. Sharad Katiyar. Sunil Kumar Saroj. Swati Singh. Vaibhav Gupta. Singh Avishek Gajendra. Vipayan Mukherjee. Hanit Bansal. Ila Barsila. Jadav Kiran Shahu. Rahul Nath. Sachin Kumar Singh. Sauvik Nashkar. Shubham, Shubham Agarwal. Sauvik Nashkar. Akshay Pathak. Vinay Prasad. Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Master of Technology in Mechanical Engineering in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the sage degree in absentia. Amit Manglik, Dev Kumar Varma, Pavan Kumar, Pavan Kumar, Sushil Sanjay Dharmadhikari, Vinita Kumari, Yashudas Jyotot. Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Master of Technology in Nuclear Engineering and Technology are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Kamle Siddharth Suresh Manda.
Santa Kumar is. Sudhangshu Mathur. Sunil Kumar. Jiyad Devasi Bhai Sagar Bhai. Abhishek Narayan Singh. Abhishek Srivastav. Lekharaj Dongre. Parul Divedi. Sriti Sahu. Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Master of Technology in Nuclear Engineering and Technology program in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the SAGE degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the SAGE degree in absentia. Kama Raja, Madhuranjan Gunjan, Sandra K. Sivam Singh. Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Master of Technology in Photonics, Science and Engineering are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Nagendra Pratap Yadav. Neha Goswami. Raman Kumar, Srinath Purahit, Udit Narayan, Paresh Mathur. Sir, Hirak Mandal is not present here today. He requests that he be admitted to the degree of Master of Technology in Photonics, Science and Engineering in absentia. He having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that he be admitted to the de said degree in absentia. All the recipients of the degree of Master of Technology, please rise. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chairman of the Senate of the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, I do hereby admit each of these candidates to the degree of Master of Technology in respective disciplines and charge them to prove worthy of the same throughout their life. All the recipients of the degree of Master of Technology, please be seated. Let the candidates for the bachelor's and master's degree under dual degree program be presented. Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of B.Tech, M.Tech dual degree program in aerospace engineering are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. S. Aditya Varma. Abhishek Dhiman, Ashish 
อนุรักษ์กุมารอวิชรานะมาดเวนร์ประธานมณีชกุมารพรานุกุมารสิงห์สุชาตนรอตรอุตคัชดัดิชวบาวดบาริยาวาร์ชัยยาดาวดีพักพาวาร์ชันดันสัตยาร์ธฮาร์ชนัมรตากุปตาราเกบโกเอลรันวิเจสิงชุบมสร์ the following candidates are not present here today they request that they be admitted to the degree of B Tech M Tech dual degree program in aerospace engineering in absentia each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia Ankur Dhawan Vijay Pal Singh Negi Abhijit Verma Anchal Goel Ankit Dev Kiran Raj Gaur Naman Kumar Rawal Parveen Kumar Siddharth Shivasto พัทริลรวินทร์ราชรามอนุรักษ์กุมารลุยยาเกรับกุมารเคสมรภูมิโอจาสร์ไอ้ประสานต์ผู้ประกอบการที่ได้รับการสำรวจในปริญญาตรีของปริญญาตรีดุลยเดชและวิทยาศาสตร์ในบิโลจิคัลสายแพทย์และบิโอเจนีย์ถูกคำนวณว่าเป็นประโยชน์ต่อการรับรองนี้ I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Brijesh Chandrakar, Chepurkar, Neha Ashok Vagmare, sir. I present Sumit Kumar Sharma. Who, having satisfied the requirements of the degree of Bachelor of Technology in Biological Sciences and Bioengineering, and Masters of Science in Economics under b t e c MS Dual Degree Program, is considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that he be admitted to the said degree. Sir, I present the candidates who, having satisfied the requirements for the degree of B.Tech, M.Tech dual degree program in chemical engineering, are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Shailesh Kumar Meena. Shashank Chaudhary. Ashish Goyal. Ankur Singh, Kura Bharat Kumar, Muhammad Ibrahim Faruqi, Muhammad Shafiq. Nitin Kumar Singh, Patil Chetan Arun,
ऋषभ अग्रवाल सुरेश भासन अनिका जैन जूही चंद्रा मोहित नेमा मुदित सिन्हा निधि साहू निखिल कुमार रोहित कक्कर सलमान अहमद खान शिवांग शर्मा स्मिता रंजन बिस्वाल सर द फॉलोइंग कैंडिडेट्स आर नॉट प्रेजेंट हियर टुडे दे रिक्वेस्ट दैट दे बी एडमिटेड टू द बीटेक एमटेक ड्यूअल डिग्री प्रोग्राम इन केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग इन एब्सेंशिया ईच हैविंग सेटिस्फाइड द रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर द सेट डिग्री इज कंसीडर्ड वर्दी ऑफ इट आई रेकमेंड दैट ईच ऑफ देम बी एडमिटेड टू द सेट डिग्री इन एब्सेंशिया निशांत कुमार गुप्ता आर्यन बी अनिरुद्ध ऋषभ गुप्ता सुदोदन सिंह ठाकुर अमन अग्रवाल sir i present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of btech mtech dual degree program in civil engineering are considered worthy of receiving the same i recommend that they be admitted to the said degree k shri harsha akhil yadav Chandra Mohan Deepak Kumar Pawar Harshit Khaitan Karan Vora Lokesh Kachwa Mayur Mehta Nivesh Goel Ramdev Kumar Ramo Maji Ritesh Kumar Shwet Kumar Tanuj Patel Chetan Chauhan Chinmay Chirag Bharatbhai Agarwal Chitresh Anand Devendra Swami
हर्षमान जीनू टॉमस मोहम्मद मंजर हुसैन अंजुम ओम प्रकाश पंकज साइनी राहुल गर्ग ऋतिका वर्मा शुभम गोयल शुभम गुप्ता स्वतंत्र वर्मा Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of B.Tech, M.Tech dual degree program in civil engineering in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Gaurav Kumar Raghav, Nanam Vasant Manohar, Abhay Kumar, Abhijit Gupta, Amit Kumar Koshta, Anu Tripathi, Heman Gailot, Kunyad Tripathi, Nakka V. Satya Bharat Kumar, Saurabh Dikshit, Shashank Kumar, Sumit Kumar, Sudhyakan Divedi, Vishal Kataria, Pranjal Madaniya, Shalini Surya Vanchi. Sir, I present Pranjal Singh, who having satisfied the requirements of the degree of Bachelor of Technology in Civil Engineering and Master's Program in Master of Business Administration under B.Tech MBA Dual Degree Program is considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that he be admitted to the said degree. Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Bachelor of Technology in Civil Engineering and Master of Science in Mathematics and Scientific Computing under B.Tech MS Dual Degree Program are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Abhinav Kumar, Manas Bhatnagar, Sir, Pranay Jain is not present here today. He requests that he be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Technology in Civil Engineering and Masters of Science in Economics under B.Tech MS Dual Degree Program in absentia. He, having satisfied the requirements for the said degree, is considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that he be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Sir, I present the candidates who, having satisfied the requirements for the degree of B.Tech M.Tech dual degree program in Computer Science and Engineering, are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Ayush Goel, Gaurav Krishna, Akash Verma, Ankit Modi, Arpit Jain, Ashwini Shitij.
सी एच पी के एस संपत कुमार चंद्र प्रकाश दिव्यांशु भारतीया गिरिजाला चंद्रशेखर गुरप्रीत सिंह खनुजा जितेंद्र कुमार ठाकर निट्टला वेंकट सुब्बराव पार्थ त्रिपाठी प्रशांत कुमार सिंह राहुल मीना सचिन कुमार यादव वैभव सिंगल अभिमन्यु अरोरा आदर्श चौहान आयुष मित्तल मिलिंद सोलंकी पीयूष कुमार साक्षी सिन्हा शिवांशु अग्रवाल विजय केशवानी येशी डोलमा गुड्डू कुमार गुड्डू कुमार अमित कुमार सर द फॉलोइंग कैंडिडेट्स अमित कुमार Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of B.Tech, M.Tech, dual degree program in Computer Science and Engineering in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Abhimanyu Jaju, Akshay Agrawal, Akshay Kumar, Amendra Gupta, Amit Kumar, अमित शर्मा अंशु अविनाश आशुदीप सिंह ध्रुव लखानी गगनप्रीत सिंह कालरा गुड्डू कुमार मोहम्मद दाऊद मोहित गर्ग पंकज प्रतीक केवल रमानी प्रांजल सिंह प्रवीण धीवा रविशंकर गुहा राहुल अरोरा शिवम बंसल सुनील कुमार मुकारला विनीत कटारिया मोजाम हुसैन सुमेध मसूलकर विवेक गुप्ता सर आई प्रेजेंट द कैंडिडेट्स हु आर बीइंग सेटिस्फाइड द रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर द डिग्री ऑफ बीटेक एमटेक टूल डिग्री प्रोग्राम इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग आर कंसीडर उर्दी ऑफ रिसीविंग द सेम आई रेकमेंड दैट दे बी एडमिटेड टू द सेट डिग्री आसपु सिबा अतुल कुमार सिन्हा अ 
अतुल्य सीबम श्री देवांशु आर्य अवध बिहारी गुप्ता हेमंत पटेल नरेंद्र कुमार मीना नीरज मतियाली निशा चौधरी राकेश कुमार रोहित कुमार सत्य बोलू साई नीतीश श्रेयान चौधरी अभिनय कुमार अनिरुद्ध कुमार अग्रवाल मयंक अग्रवाल पीयूष कुमार शुभजीत महांती उन्नाथ जैन विपुल गुप्ता सर द फॉलोइंग कैंडिडेट आर नॉट प्रेजेंट हियर टुडे दे रिक्वेस्ट दैट दे बी एडमिटेड टू द डिग्री ऑफ बीटेक एम टेक ट्वेल्व डिग्री प्रोग्राम इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग इन एबसेंस हिया each having satisfied the requirement for the said degree is considered worthy of it i recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia gogineni bhargava asutosh tiwari akash gramin anepu yv harshavardhan amish goel anant raj anurag pande ayush jain naresh patel aditya jain arun singh isha agrawal प्रतीक यादव सर आई प्रेजेंट द कैंडिडेट्स हु हैविंग सेटिस्फाइड द रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर द डिग्री ऑफ बीटेक एमटेक डुअल डिग्री प्रोग्राम इन मटेरियल साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग आर कंसीडर्ड वर्दी ऑफ रिसीविंग द सेम आई रिकमेंड दैट दे बी एडमिटेड टू द सेट डिग्री अनिल कुमार चौहान धरिता चंद्रवंशी पंकज कुमार रवि जोहम संदीप कुमार संजय मांडा शिखर मिश्रा सर i present sukant kumar who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of bachelor of technology in materials science and engineering and master of science in economics under btech ms dual degree program is considered worthy of receiving the same i recommend that he be admitted to the said degree sir 
I presume the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of B.Tech, M.Tech, dual degree program in mechanical engineering are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Amit Saraswat. Anil Kumar Mina. Ankit Kumar Chokse. Avinash Srivastava. Devashish Gupta. Himangshu Singh. Lokesh Jain. Mayank Sinha. Pulak Prakash. Rahul Ocha. Sadara Boyna M. Vidyasagar. Sahil Kajal. Sanjeev Kumar. Soumya Saxena. Saurabh Parwar. Suhas Vilas Power Suresh Jagannath Gadekar Avinav Gupta Akshay Bansal Anurag Singh Yadav, Ayush Jain, Harkirat Singh, Himansu Gautam, Kanahiya Lal Chaurasia, Karan Pal Singh Sekhawat Nimesh Kumar Sachin Modi Shivam Patel Shreya Varma, Subham Singhal, Vivek Raj, Yash Mahanat, Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of B.Tech, M.Tech dual degree program in mechanical engineering in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the SAGE degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the SAGE degree in absentia. Rahul Kansal, Kulwan Singh, Avishek Ranjan, 
अभिषेक शर्मा अजिंका कुमार जैन अनुज अग्रवाल भामारे सूरज अशोक देवेंद्र आर्या देवर यशेस दीपक कुमार फैसल इस्लाम जसप्रीत सिंह कुलदीप यादव मयंक जैन प्रतीक सिंह पुनीत भतेजा शारण वैभव सिन्हा मोहम्मद असैन परवेज सूरज भादू तन्मय संजय जयपुर का सर आई प्रेजेंट विशाल तोमर हु हैविंग सेटिस्फाइड द रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर द डिग्री ऑफ बैचलर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड मास्टर ऑफ साइंस इन मैथमेटिक्स एंड साइंस कंप्यूटिंग अंडर बीटेक एम एस डुअल डिग्री प्रोग्राम इज कंसिडर्ड वर्दी ऑफ रिसीविंग द सेम आई रिकमेंड दैट ही बी एडमिटेड टू द सेट डिग्री sir i present the candidates who having sat it worthy of receiving the same i recommend that they be admitted to the said degree anubhav vardhan ayush asthana आयुष निगम हिमांशु ममतानी जगत ज्योति खालिद बदी उजमा मिताली अग्रवाल रोशन कुमार सर आई प्रेजेंट द कैंडिडेट्स वो हैविंग सेटिस्फाइड द रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर द डिग्री ऑफ बैचलर ऑफ साइंस मास्टर ऑफ साइंस dual degree program in economics are considered worthy of receiving the same i recommend that they be admitted to the said degree abhishek gaurav abhishek singh shekawat alisha sarkar अनुराग सिरोलिया आशीष आशीष बलोतिया ध्रुव गोयल मोहित बातम मोनिका भरद्वाज नफीसा लोहवाला प्रणव भार्गव कुसरला श्रेय पुष्प तोष्णीवाल रीमा कुमारी सांबा कुमार शुभम अग्रवाल
वरुण पंडित वीरबाबू मोड़ Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Science, Master of Science, dual degree program in economics in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Ankit Jain, Ankur Atul Agarwal. Sir, Roshan Bansal is not present here today. He requests that he be admitted a degree of Bachelor of Science, Master of Science, dual degree program in economics in absentia. He having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that he be admitted to a said degree in absentia. Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Bachelor of Science, Master of Science, dual degree program in mathematics and scientific computing are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Abhinav Gupta. Abhinav Mehta. Adit Kumar Akshay Singhal Anurag Sahai Dhanit Agrawal Lagavat Ramurti Nayak Lakshya Khandelwal Pankaj Gupta Prabhash Kumar Misha Pradum Mohan Dave Prakar Agrawal Rahul Kumar Yadav Riya Rana Sandeep Bisui Satyam Kumar Shivam Shah Som Shrenik Shivyans Tandan Shruti Agrawal Shubham Pal Singh Vivek Krishna Kalash Shiva Kumar Sindri Shrizan Saket Tapas Agrawal Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they may be admitted to the degree, to the degree of Bachelor of Science, Master of Science dual degree program 
in mathematics and scientific computing in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Gaurav Gupta, Himansu Rai, Pushpendra Bhatti, Sneh Rahar. Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Bachelor of Science, Master of Science, dual degree program in physics are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Aditya Tandon. Anik Bishwash. Anurag Kaushal. Arunav Esh Mukherjee. Gaurav Gautam. Manuranjan. Shupranto Sharma Burua. Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Science, Master of Science, dual degree program in physics in absentia, each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Ajesh K. Akash Goel. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chairman of the Senate of the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, I do hereby admit each of these candidates to the bachelor's and master's degree under dual degree program in respective disciplines and charge them to prove worthy of the same throughout their life. All the recipients of the bachelor's and master's degree under dual degree program, please be seated. Let the candidates for the degree of Master of Science five-year integrated program be presented. Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Master of Science five-year integrated program in chemistry are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Ritesh Jain. Megdeep Agrawal. Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Master of Science, five-year integrated program in chemistry in absentia, each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of, the, of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Mohammad Tariq, Khedkar Abhishek Avinash, Manohar Sharma. Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Master of Science, five-year integrated program in economics are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Vivek Singh. Jason Jain.
கார்த்திக் பாவா பவன்குமார் Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Master of Science, five-year integrated program in economics in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to said degree in absentia. Ankit Vadva, Pratik Yadav, Saurabh Lakra. Sir, I present the candidates who have been satisfied the requirements for the degree of Master of Science five-year integrated program in mathematics and scientific computing are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Saurav Mittal. Vimal Saket. Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Master of Science, five-year integrated program in mathematics and scientific computing in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Manu C.M. Gauda, Ojaswi Kumar Maurya, Priyanshu Ranjit, Shubham Khandelwal, Sunil Kumar. Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Master of Science five-year integrated program in physics are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Neeraj Nagar. Puneet Mishra, all the recipients of the Master of Science five year integrated program degree, please rise. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chairman of the Senate of the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, I do hereby admit each of these candidates to the degree of Master of Science five-year integrated program in respective disciplines and charge them to prove worthy of the same throughout their life. Let the candidates for the degree of Master of Science two year be presented. Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Master of Science two year in chemistry are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Raja Baranya Krishna Sahu. Amit. Amritendu Sekhar Kohli. Anirban Bardhan. Apala Chaudhari. Arindam Mandal Arun Singh Atanu Nandi
आयन दास भास्कर राणा पुबाई माझी तेबसीस पाल देवलीन जाना इंद्रनील सामंत जयंता बैनर्जी कारणिका सोनोवाल किरण कुमार घोष मनोज कुमार ओइंद्रेला विश्वास पार्सुतकर महेश मिन्नाथ फुल खोंगुर बासुमतरे प्रभाकर कोरा पुरुषोत्तम दास राहुल मंडल राजीव कर्माकर राकेश मैथी रणजीत बर्मन रतन लोगदी रोशायद अली लास्कर ऋतुपर्णा गुहा साया खालदर सचिन कुमार शॉ संदीप घटक सौरभ हजारिका सायन मैथी शुभंकर नास्कर सौमेन घोष सृजनी सरकार श्रीजिता भौमिक शुभादीप पॉल सुमित घोष सनी दास
Sir, I present the candidates who have been satisfied the requirements for the degree of Master of Science two year in mathematics are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Dilip Kumar. Akash Jain. Abhishek Roy. Arpan Vadya. Bidwan Chakravarti. Kamal Santra. Prashant Kumar. Priyabrato Mandal. Raghav Avasthi. Samir Panja. Sanjeev Kuswaha. Sayantan Mati. Shashikant. S.K. Rabiul Islam. Sudipto Sarkar. Viplav Pandey. Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they may, they may be, they be admitted to the degree of Master of Science two year in mathematics in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Ananya Manas, Ankit Bhojak, Ashlesha A. Vishay, Chayan Karmakar, Manoj Kumar, Partha Sil, Ramji Pandey, Santanu Devnath, Sudipa Mandal, Sumit Kumar, Surabhi Nishad, Suraj Prakash Yadav, Tapendu Rana. Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Master of Science two year in physics are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Devabrata Maji. Omiyo Mishra. Anup Kumar Bera. Anurag Aranya Bhattacharya Avijit Kole Varna Lidash Biprojit Sana Monobina Karmakar Pratapchandra Adak Rahul Riddhi Bandupadhyay Shaheb Ghosh, 
संदीप मंडल सत्यजित बर्मन सत्यकी शाशमल सोमनाथ माइटी सोनू वर्मा शोमक मित्र सौरभ मन्ना Sir the following candidates are not present here today they request that they be admitted to the degree of master of science 2 year in physics in absentia each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it i recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia ornob mondol nimish d shiladitya pore sir i present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of master of science 2 year under msc phd dual degree program in physics are considered worthy of receiving the same i recommend that they be admitted to the said degree obhijit dule vikash ghosh swayam shri patra sir vijay shankar prasad uh, is not present here today he requests that he be admitted to the degree of master of science 2 year in physics in absentia he having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it i recommend that he be admitted to the said degree in absentia sir i present the candidates who have been satisfied the requirements for the degree of master of science 2 year in statistics are considered worthy of receiving the same i recommend that they be admitted to the said degree ajit kumar yadav arvind kumar paswan subha dash अभिज्ञान चट्टोपाध्याय आकाश रॉय अंकिता दत्ता अर्घ्य साहू अरिंदम विश्वास आत्मादीप चक्रवर्ती अविनाश कुमारी दीपनील चक्रवर्ती गौरव अग्रवाल कुमार सत्यम मल्लिका महतो मयूक मंडल मुकुल मल्लिक मल्लिकल 
नीरज कुमारी प्रशांत कुशवाहा प्रियजीत बिशाई राहुल चौधरी ऋषिकेश यादव सचिन वर्मा सौरभ पात्रा सुभायन दे सुमन पटेल श्वेता विश्वास उदिता सूर वसुधा रूहेला सर द फॉलोइंग कैंडिडेट्स आर नॉट प्रेजेंट हियर टुडे दे रिक्वेस्ट दैट दे बी एडमिटेड टू द डिग्री ऑफ मास्टर ऑफ साइंस टू ईयर इन स्टैटिस्टिक्स इन एबसेंशिया ईच हैविंग सेटिस्फाइड द रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर द सेट डिग्री इज कंसिडर्ड वर्दी ऑफ इट I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Priyabandho Paul, Sovik Naskar, Pushpa Yadav. All the recipients of the Master of Science two-year degree, please rise. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chairman of the Senate of the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, I do hereby admit each of these candidates. to the degree of master of science two year in respective disciplines and charge them to prove worthy of the same throughout their life all the recipients of the master of science two year degree please be seated <laughs> let the candidates for the degree of master of business administration be presented sir i present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of master of business administration are considered worthy of receiving the same i recommend that they be admitted to the said degree achyuta balayeshu ankit gupta bai shikhar rajesh छवि कदारिया चिराग तनवर गणेश शाजी गौरव गिरीधर हर्ष श्रीवास्तव हिमेश आनंद चिदित सरी नवनीत मालविया निखिल पीके पंकज जैन पंकुरी अग्रवाल राघव शर्मा
राजन चौहान रिचा सिंह साक्षी शर्मा सुधांशु कुमार विक्रम कुमार बिश्नोई Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Master, Master of Business Administration in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Sainthan Ghosh, Shiv Kumar R, Winston James, Abdul Bari, Amit Singh, Avinash Verma, Ayan Mandal, Agrawal Gaurav Mahavir Prasad, Prakash Jacob Matthew, Purvesh Moge, Shakti Chaturvedi, Shelbin Devasi, Vinay Chahal. All the recipients of the degree of Master of Business Administration, please rise. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chairman of the Senate of the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, I do hereby admit each of these candidates to the degree of Master of business administration and charge them to prove worthy of the same throughout their life. All the recipients of the degree of Master of Business Administration, please be seated. <laughs> Let the candidates for the degree of Master of Design be presented. Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Master of Design are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the SAGE degree. Avinav Basak, Kirti, Kulwant Singh, Manisha Soren, Mithun George, Muhammad Asif, Mohit Tewari, Nikita Rawat, Patol Aniket Sashikant, Piyush Belchandan, Pulakit Saraswat, Romil Deepak Desai, Sangani Anand Nalin Bhai, Sanjeev Kumar, Sarik Miraj Khan, Sweta J. Kumar Nair, Tathagata Acharya, Vimal Anand, Vivek Pandra, Apurba Agarwal, Mitali Vasin, Pankaj Rathor, Prabhat Kumar,
प्रदीप वर्मा पृथ्वीराज रामाकृष्ण राजा राहुल कोठारी ऋतु पंचाल सचिन एन पी शोभित गौतम स्नेहा पारी सूरज बी रामचंद्रन कुरादे सुशील सुरेश स्वप्निल गुप्ता स्वयं सिद्धा पानीग्राही Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Master of Design in Absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the Sage degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the Sage degree in Absentia. Ashutosh Kumar, Charu, Devendra Kumar. All the recipients of the degree of Master of Design. Please rise. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chairman of the Senate of the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, I do hereby admit each of these candidates to the degree of Master of Design and charge them to prove worthy of the same throughout their life. All the recipients of the degree of Master of Design, please be seated. Let the candidates for the postgraduate diploma in management for executives in manufacturing be presented. Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the postgraduate diploma in management for executives in manufacturing in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the said diploma is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said diploma in absentia. Abhishek Kumar. Acharekar Sumit Dilip, Amit Kumar Bishwas, Anand Raghavan, Ankit Chaudhary, Ankur Gandotra, Anurag Pandey, Ashish Ranjan, Avinash Kumar Pandey, Deepak Sharma, Gopalaswami Ji, Jay Prakash Singh, Karthike N.D., Kaushik Saundar Rajan, Nau Prakash Ganeshan, Neeraj Kumar, Nimish Jain, Nidin Prayag, Pandey Sarang Suhas, Pankaj Kumar Prashad, Parivesh Rajwad, Pradeek Jain, Priham Datta, Preranjan Pati, Radha Krishna Tanashekaran, Rajat Gupta, Ramachandana Kati Reddy, Sandeeponi Mishra, Sandosh Kumar Panda, Saudamani Burduan, Shavani Majumdar, Shashi Yadav, Shiva Ramakrishna, Sumit Bardwaj, Suraj R, Surendran A, Tarun Kumar Mishra, Venkatesh Tankudu, Vikas Kumar. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chairman of the Senate of the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, I do hereby admit each of these candidates to the postgraduate diploma in management for executives in manufacturing and charge them to prove worthy of the same throughout their life. All the recipients of all the degrees, please rise. Remember that your knowledge and intellectual attainment is the most sacred wealth of the nation. You shall therefore use it in a manner befitting the honor and dignity of your country. 
and of your alma mater. You shall make every effort in all circumstances to uphold the dignity of your profession and integrity of your character. You shall endeavor in every way through thought, word, and action to bring about the well-being of people. You must live a well-disciplined life. Never forget the commandment of the sacred scriptures. Thou shalt perform deeds that are commendable and no others. All the recipients of all the degrees, please be seated. Let the candidates for award and prizes be presented. So, I present Unnat Jain who has been declared the winner of the Director's Gold Medal for the year 2016 for outstanding all-round achievement and leadership among students graduating in all five-year undergraduate programs. Sir, I present Anurag Sahai, who has been declared winner of the Ratan Sarup Memorial Prize for the year 2016, which is given to the best all-rounder among students graduating in the four-year and five-year undergraduate programs. <laughs> Sir, I present Prithvi Raj Ramkrish Raj, who has been declared winner of the Dr. Shankar Dayal Sharma Medal for the year 2016, which is given to the best all-round graduating student in M.Tech, MBA, MDES, MS by Research, PhD, MSc, PhD, dual degree programs. Sir, I present Unnath Jain, who has been declared winner of the Cadence Gold Medal for the year 2016 for the best thesis in five-year programs in all departments. Sir, I present Rubia Hassan, who has been declared winner of the Cadence Gold Medal for the year 2016 for the best thesis in two-year M.Tech, MS by Research program in all departments. So I present the candidates who have been declared winners of the General Proficiency Medals for the 2000, year 2016 for best academic performance among the graduating students of the four-year, five-year, and two-year MSc programs in each of the departments. Abhinav Gupta, Mechanical Engineering. Dhwanit Agarwal, Mathematics and Scientific Computing. Arunab S. Mukherjee, Physics. Master of Science, two-year programs. Srijita Bhaumik, Chemistry. <laughs> Barnali Das, Physics. <laughs> 
Akash Roy, Statistics. Sir, I present the candidates who have been declared winners of the Project Proficiency Prizes and Medals for the year 2016, given for the best project work by graduating students in the four-year, five-year, and two-year MSc programs in each of the departments. Neha Ashok Wagmare, Biological Science and Bioengineering. <laughs> Master of Science, two-year programs. Srijita Bhaumik, Chemistry. Varnali Das, Physics. Sir, I present the candidates who have been declared winners of the IIT Kanpur Excellence Award in Community Services for the year 2016 for outstanding work in various aspects of community services. Jeanu Thomas, Civil Engineering. Karan Vora, Civil Engineering. Manoranjan, Physics. <laughs> Sir, I present Anurag Sahai, who has been declared winner of the IIT Kanpur Excellence Award in Leadership in Students Affairs for the year 2016. Given for exemplary, exemplary work related to all aspects of student governance, hostel management affairs, and leadership and organization of events at department hall and institute levels. So I present Anu Abraham, who has been declared winner of the Professor Aditam Sri Rangasai gold medal for the year 2016 for outstanding academic performance in the two-year MTech program in the area of structural engineering in the civil engineering department. <laughs> Sir, I present Shivan Agarwal, who has been declared winner of the Cadence Silver Medal for the year 2016 for the best MTech thesis in computer science and engineering, electrical engineering departments. Sir, I present Nikun Jagarwal, who has been declared winner of the IEEE PEDES 96 award for the year 2016, given to outstanding two-year MTech graduating students of electrical engineering department in the area of power electronics and drives. <laughs> Sir, I present Anshuman Satpathi, who has been declared winner of the Dr. S.T. Bokal Memorial Medal for the year 2016 for the best academic performance in the MTech program in environmental engineering and management. <laughs> Sir, I present Raghav Sharma, who has been declared winner of the Professor Vijay Mahajan Award for the year 2016 for the best academic performance in the MBA program of industrial and management engineering department. Sir, I present Ritika Kapoor, who has been declared winner of the Mrs. and Mr. S. N. Mittal Gold Medal for the year 2016, given to the best all-rounder among graduating students in MTech or MBA programs in Industrial and Management Engineering Department. <laughs> Sir, I present S. K. Rafi Ahmad, who has been declared winner of the Shailaja Shivastav Award for the year 2016, given to the meritorious non-doctoral student entering in the final year 
in industrial and management engineering or mathematics and statistics departments. Sir, I present Rubia Hassan, who has been declared winner of the Boginani Chenchu Rama Naidu gold medal for the year 2016, given to the graduating two-year MTech students in material science program or material science and engineering department, having the highest CPI. <laughs> Sir, I present Deepayan Mukherjee, who has been declared winner of the Meta MTech gold medal for the year 2016 for best academic performance in the two-year MTech program of Mechanical Engineering Department. <laughs> Sir, I present the candidates who have been declared winners of the Ranjan Kumar Memorial Award 2016 for the best socially relevant project by any graduating student of any department, Apoor Vagarwal Design Program. Mitali Bhashin, Design Program. Sachin NP, Design Program. Swayam Siddh Panigrahi, Design Program. Neha Parhi, design program. <laughs> Sir, I present Abhinav Gupta, who has been declared winner of the Banco Foundation Prize 2016 for the best academic performance in the four-year, five-year programs of the Mechanical Engineering Department. Sir, I present Dhanit Agarwal, who has been declared winner of the Suman Gupta Gold Medal 2016 for the best academic performance in the four-year, five-year program of Mathematics and Statistics Department. <laughs> Sir, I present Dhanit Agarwal, who has been declared winner of the Bhagwan Das Sanghi Memorial Gold Medal 2016 given to the best graduating student in the five-year program with B.Tech, B.S. in any department and M.S. in Mathematics. <laughs> Sir, I present Arnab S. Mukherjee, who has been declared winner of the Bhagavatullah Project Award 2016 for the best project work among all graduating four-year, five-year program, uh, program students in the physics department. I present Jamita Bansal, who has been declared winner of the best all-rounder girl student of two-year programs, two-year programs gold medal 2016 given to the best all-rounder girl, graduating girl student of two-year master's programs, including M.Tech, MBA, and M.Desk programs. <laughs> Sir, I present Sana Khan, who has been declared winner of the Dr. Vishwanath Bajpay Memorial Gold Medal 2016 for the best thesis of the graduating M.Tech or M.S. by research student of the Department of Earth Sciences. Sir, I present Sachin Modi, who has been declared winner of the Srimati Shashi Pundir Memorial Medal 2016, given to the best graduating two-year M.Tech or M.S. by Research student of Mechanical Engineering Department with thesis in Thermal or Fluid Sciences and Transport Phenomenon.
I request Chairman Senate to please read out the citation for honorary degree of Doctor of Science to Professor Chintamani Nagesa Ramachandra Rao. Professor Chintamani Nagesha Ramachandra Rao, CNR Rao, popularly known. He's a National Research Professor, Linus Pauling Research Professor, and Honorary President of the Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced Scientific Research, which he founded in 1989. Professor Rao is an outstanding scientist of international repute and has made pioneering contributions over past five decades in the areas of solid state and materials chemistry, including transition metal oxides and other extended inorganic solids, inorganic organic hybrid materials, nanomaterials, graphene, artificial photosynthesis, and hydrogen generation. Professor Rao received the MSc degree from Banaras, PhD from Purdue, and DSc from Mysore Universities. He started his academic career at IAC Bangalore during 1959 to 1962 and came to IIT Kanpur in 1963 and made stellar contributions during the formative years of the institute as head department of chemistry and as the dean of research and development. Subsequently, Professor Rao relocated to Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore to establish solid state and structural chemistry unit, and then served as director ISC Bangalore from 1984 through 1994. Professor Rao is a scientist par excellence, which is reflected in over 1,600 high quality, high impact research articles and 50 books, with combined citations more than 88,000 and an H index of 131. <laughs> Needless to mention that he is the highest H index owner of the country ever. He has received numerous awards and recognitions that include honorary doctorates from 70 universities around the world, 30 fellowships, and memberships of leading academies of the world, and important national and international awards, such as Marlowe Medal of the Faraday Society, 1967, Shanti Sarup Bhatnagar Prize, 1968, the Royal Society of Chemistry London Medal, 1981, Einstein Gold Medal of UNESCO 1996, India Science Award 2004, Chemical Pioneer Award of the American Institute of Chemists 2005, Dan David Prize of Israel 2005, Nikkei Asia Prize for Science, Technology and Innovation of Japan 2008, Order of Friendship by the President of Russia 2009, the Hughes Medal 2000, as well as the Royal Medal Queen's Medal by the Royal Society London 2009, the August Wilhelm von Hoffmann Medal by the German Chemical Society 2010, Ernesto Eli Triest Science Prize 2011, and the Order of the Rising Sun Gold and Silver Star by the Emperor of Japan 2015. Professor Rao is a fellow of all the Indian Science Academies, Indian National Engineering Academy, Royal Society, London, and Foreign Associate, U.S. National Academy of Sciences, USA, and foreign member of the French, Russian, Japan, Australian, Chinese, and Brazilian, and several other academies. Professor Rao has contributed to science policy, planning, and cooperation by serving as the chairman of the Science Advisory Council to the Prime Minister during 1985 to 89 and 2004 to 2014, President, Indian National Science Academy, Chairman, Advisory Board, Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, Member, University Grants Commission, Member, Planning Commission, Government of India, Chairman, Standing Committee of the Councils of IITs and Indian Institutes of Science, Education and Research, 
Chairman, Board of Governors of IIT Kanpur, and at international level of being founding fellow of the World Academy of Sciences to us, and later as president. And also president, International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. For his contributions to Indian science, Professor Rao was conferred Padma Shri in 1974, Padma Bhushan in 1985, Karnataka Ratna in 2001. His authoritative research in chemical sciences and efforts to place Indian science on the world map was rec recognized by conferment of Bharat Ratna in 2014. It is both an honor and privilege to confer upon Professor Chintamani Nagesha Ramachandra Rao the degree of Doctor of Science, Honoris Causa, on this day, the 27th of June, 2016. I request Chairman Senate to please come forward for award of Doctor of Science, Honoris Causa, to Professor CNR Rao. May I now request Professor Rao to kindly say a few words if, you, if he wishes. Chairman Board of Governors, Mr. Vargav, Chief Guest, Dr. Tripathi, Director, Dr. Manna, my distinguished colleagues, my dear students, dear graduates, ladies and gentlemen. How wonderful to be back in Kanpur and in IIT Kanpur. I spent when my youth in IIT Kanpur. I was 29 years old when I came here as a professor of chemistry. I was very young, and this was the only institute to think of having such a young person as a professor and head of a department. Even today, no one else would do that. And I hope. I hope I have proved myself enough to justify the confidence shown by this institute at that time, appointing me as a professor at such a young age. The, the early days when I came here, there was nothing but sweat and blood in this campus. There was no campus. There was no hostel. My wife and I and our little daughter were the first family to enter the campus in an old one type 3 bungalow, type 3 house. In fact, even if you wanted salt, you had to drive all the way to Aryanagar. There was nothing in, in this place. In fact, it was unbelievable to see this campus grow because the campus actually worked in the city. And if you wanted lunch, all you had to do is go to the wayside samosa cellar and buy it. And that was the only lunch you could get. But one thing that bound us all together, the early members of the faculty and the early students, was the tremendous hope we had that will build an extraordinary institute in this campus. We had tremendous hope. Hope replaced any other inconvenience that we had at that time. I think it is that spirit that will lead India together, India in the future as well. If Indians feel that hope is there, India will come out. And we, with that hope, this was built. I was involved in many things in this institute. I was the chairman of the core curriculum committee, what to teach, how to teach, we worried a lot about it. I enjoyed teaching our first year class. Wherever I go in the world today, my old students will come, sir, do you remember me from Chem 101? I, I, I owe them a lot. In fact, 
One of the most interesting things was when I was recently in Arab Emirates talking to the Sheikh there, the head of the, one of the Emirates, and suddenly when this handsome, tall young man came and said, uh, the, uh, the Sheikh said, Professor Rao, this is my economic and financial advisor. Oh, I see. When I was about to shake his hand, that man immediately prostrated. Sir, you are my Chem 101 teacher. Well, wherever I go, Chem 101. You see, I, will, I tell you, my teaching career in IIT has been fantastic. You, our director didn't tell you I have been teaching in University of California, Santa Barbara, uh, in Berkeley, in Cambridge University, a number of major universities in the world. But I never had a better bunch of students than in IIT Kanpur. I had the best students. There. And in fact, I'm also proud to say we built the best chemistry department of the world, at the, of India, at that time. And even today, wherever you go, you see the bright young chemists, professors, students, they were all, if they are so good, they had to be from IIT Kanpur. In fact, at that time, IIT Kanpur was the best institute you could imagine. I had a very close friend of mine who is no more, Satish Dhawan, who, is, who heads the space program, many of you will know. He, every time Satish used to see me, Ram, what is it you guys are doing in Kanpur? What is this great thing you're doing? How come you're getting together a bunch of people who are so excited about things, and the institute is looking up all the time? And the word, the, the phrase, pursuit of excellence. Everybody uses it today. But then, in the early 60s, this was the institute made pursuit of excellence a phrase to remember. In fact, everywhere, pursuit of excellence, people even used to joke about, oh, that Kanpur people, pursuit of excellence, they would say. Well, that we did as well as we could. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, if, I, if, I, if others pardon me, if they don't like what I say, easily IIT Kanpur was the best institute between, somewhere between 1960s to 1970s. Unfortunately, I left this institute around that time for various reasons. That's a different matter. But this was a fantastic institute. It was the first institute which started computer science education in the country. It was the first institute which started material science education in the country. Many people don't know. It was the first institute where modern chemistry was taught for the first time in India. Well, it was in IITK Kanpur I would, I would say here, these seeds of, of modern research that I wanted to do were sown in this campus. I, of course, had done a lot of research since then. I've had many, few hundred people who have worked with me for PhD and postdoctoral and so on. But the beginnings of much of my research since then were actually started somewhat in Kanto. In a way, it, it is one of my it is academic birthplace for me in some way. I, I would like to uh, thank IIT Kanpur for what it did for me in my early days. And my wife and I will never forget the wonderful life we had for nearly 14 or 15 years that we spent in this wonderful campus. I feel that uh, IIT Kanpur can be a much greater institution. Is, have we gained everything? Have we done everything? Certainly not. IIT Kanpur should be one of the very best institutions in the world. And I don't see why it cannot be the Indian MIT. Why can't we do that? All it requires is doggedness, dedication, and tenacity. Success in India, particularly. All over the world it is true, particularly in India. It is not just brilliance that is it. It is mainly dedication, doggedness, and tenacity. We students and we faculty members get that type of spirit. I don't see why can't IIT Kanpur can be made and MIT here. You know, I keep going to MIT. What an exciting place. There are professors publish hundreds of papers, guide PhD students, there are startup companies. They have done everything. They do everything. Why not we have professors like that here? Why can't our students be educated in an atmosphere where there's excitement of science, there's excitement of research, there's excitement of innovation? I want that IIT Kanpur. You know, I'm getting old now. I'm doing research for the last 65 years in my life, of which 57 years as a professor. I'm now 82. I'm now go, about to start my 80th idea in four days. But I, I won't be here that long. But I would like to see IIT Kanpur on top of this world. God bless IIT Kanpur. God bless you all.
So now I invite the director to present the institute report. Honorable Chief Guest, Professor Satish K. Tripathi, President, University at Buffalo, the State University of New York, Mr. R.C. Bhargav, recipient of Padma Bhushan, and Honorable Chairman, Board of Governors, IIT Kanpur, Professor C.N.R. Rao, recipient of Bharat Ratna, National Research Professor and Honorary President of JNCASR, Bangalore, member of the Board of Governors, members of the Academic Senate, all graduating students and their family members, members of the faculty, alumni, staff, and student community, invited dignitaries, guests, members of the media. I heartily welcome you all to the 49th convocation of the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur. Established in 1959, IIT Kanpur is the fourth oldest among the initial group of IITs created to set a new benchmark of modern engineering education in the country. Since inception, IIT Kanpur distinguished itself as the pioneer of science-based engineering education in India, aided by a decade-long fruitful collaboration with a consortium of nine US universities under the Kanpur Indo-American program. In the last 56 years, IIT Kanpur has developed the gold standard of education and research in engineering and technology. Introducing computer science and material science as new disciplines of interdisciplinary education as early as in 1970s are the two hallmarks that bear testimony to the pioneering contributions of IIT Kanpur in engineering education in India. Let me read certain Summary of Academic Activities. The academic session ending in May 2016 has been truly satisfying, and I consider it a privilege to review our activities pertaining to this period. I'm very happy to share with you that the total number of PhD degrees approved by the Senate for the con this convocation is 151, which is a record in the history of the Institute. In addition, 1,096 other postgraduate degrees were awarded, which you saw just now. Out of the total 2,131 degrees awarded, PG degrees are 1,247, comprising 83% boys and 17% girls. In the undergraduate, we'll be awarding 884 degrees tomorrow comprising 90% boys and 10% girls. Nearly 60% of the total 2,131 degrees awarded in this convocation are of PG category. To keep, to keep peace with the evolving knowledge in science and technology space, 28 new undergraduate and 54 new postgraduate courses have been approved by the Academic Senate during 2015 and 16. In tune with the modern education technology, the Institute has introduced blended mode teaching for a course with more than 400 students under the Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya National Mission on Teachers and Training. A new MOOC platform management system, MOOCit, with special features for developing countries has been developed and utilized to teach over 12 MOOC courses. The Institute has registered steady growth in its research and development activities in this year. The total number of externally funded ongoing projects has reached 553, with a total sanctioned amount of Rs. 511 crores. During 2015-16, the Institute received sanctions of 161 new sponsored projects worth Rs. 98 crores, and 122 consultancy projects of value of rupees 16 crores. Some of the major grants 
sanctioned by various agencies during the year include DST, 25 crore, MCIT, 17.5 crore, ACRB, 14 crore, MHRD, 9 crore, BRNS, 5 crore, BARC, 5 crore. Major industry funded projects this year came from Central Pollution Control Board, Ford Motor Company, Gale India Limited, Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited, International Water Management Institute, UP Small Industry Development Corporation, Unilever Industries Private Limited, Larsen and Tubro Limited, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, National Thermal Power Corporation, Research Designs and Standards Organization, Samsung India, Boeing, and Lanco Infratech Limited. Among the major funded projects mentioned above, BRNS and BRC initiative is aimed to set up of a national aerosol facility for studies on aerosol behavior under severe accident conditions in the context of Indian nuclear reactors. MHRD has created a design innovation center at IIT Kanpur to promote a culture of innovation and creative problem solving. Another MHRD initiative at IIT Kanpur on teaching and learning center is aimed at multiple levels of teacher enablement and quality improvement. MCIT has funded a major project to set up a new electronics and ICT academy. A large UGC and Israel Science Foundation project on understanding innate responses to odors and odor mixtures will conduct a set of experiments that combine electrophysiology, behavioral tests, and optogenetic stimula stimulations in two animal systems to determine the underlying mechanisms controlling the innate attraction or aversion to a given stimulus. The ACRB project on triggered source of single photon and single pairs propose, proposes to develop a high brightness triggered source of single photons and photon pairs using laser-cooled ensemble of rubidium atoms coupled to two optical cavities. The project titled Active Fault Paleoseismic and crystal deformation in Northwest and Central Himalaya, India, will create an integrated approach towards seismic hazard assessment. The Institute always looks forward to create new research infrastructure. As a part of the national mission on Digital India launched on July 1st, 2015, Honorable Prime Minister approved the National Center for Flexible Electronics at IIT Kanpur, sponsored by the Department of Electronics and Information Technology with a project worth 133 crore. IIT Kanpur was fortunate to receive generous infrastructure augmentation grant from DST as level two fist funding for three departments through separate competitive national selection process. Rupees 5.2 crore to chemistry, Rupees 4.86 crore to Department of Biological Engineering and Biosciences, and Rupees 6.6 .6 crore to the Department of Civil Engineering. Needless to say that such generous support from DST lends a significant boost to the research infrastructure in the Institute for making an impact both in teaching and research. Let me suggest a few of the industry collaborations which has really made us move ahead. Several MOUs were signed. Two of them were signed recently at the Rashtrapati Bhavan on November 6, 2015, with Dow Chemical International Private Limited and with Emerson Network Power. Heidi Kanpur signed an industry academy agreement with BHEL, a Navratna public sector unit, and a previous electrical engineering company which is aimed at leveraging the extensive and state-of-the-art infrastructure available at BHL with the high-end intellectual and technological capabilities of IIT Kanpur to undertake path-breaking research relevant to energy generation and transmission activities in India. On 15th October 2015, IIT Kanpur hosted a large delegation from the IT giant TCS led by Mr. Anand Krishnan, CTO, as part of the TCS Innovation Day Drive, in which many faculty members and students participated to explore the possibility of carrying out collaborative research and create a research cafe 
for freewheeling interaction between TCS professionals and research scholars and faculty members of IIT Kanpur. As an institute of technology, we are mandated to promote development and translation of technology. To assert our intention, the institute celebrated Technology Day on 11th May 2016 for the first time. Dr. R. K. Sina, Homi Bhabha Chair Professor and former Chairman Atomic Energy Commission, graced the occasion as the chief guest. Two invited lectures were delivered by Mr. Vishnu Agarwal, CMD Technical Associates Limited, and Mr. Rajiv Kumar, CEO, HAL Accessories. During the year, 45 patents, including seven design patents, were filed. Seven earlier filed patents were granted and four technologies licensed for commercialization. Earning from the intellectual property this year is about 17 lakhs. Till date, 344 Indian patents have been filed, out of which 34 patents have been granted so far. Altogether, 53 technologies have been licensed for commercialization to date. A total of 24 companies are currently being incubated at the SIDBI Innovation and Incubation Center at IIT Kanpur, and 38 have graduated till date. Arav Unmanned Systems, an unmanned aerial vehicle startup incubated at SIIC, has raised next level of funding from several private ventures. The institute has successfully licensed a technology developed on exclusive basis to Visage Map Incorporated, a US-based startup company. An incubate company, GT Silicon Private Limited, has been adjudged the top 10 promising startups in the CII Industrial Innovation Awards 2015. GT Silicon is carving a niche in the foot-mounted pedestrian navigation. Their pedestrian navigation technology has won DST Lockheed Martin India Innovation Growth Program 2015 by featuring in the top in the list of top 330 innovations. Single Labs Private Limited, an incubate company, won 2015 AABI Torch Award for internationalization. Shabda Nagari, a Hindi social networking portal, has raised rupees 1.2 crore in angel investment from Kanpur Angels and a clutch of other investors. The bio incubator at SIIC was inaugurated on 4th March 2016 under the bio incubator support scheme, which is going to be a huge fillip for budding entrepreneurs working in the area of biotechnology, biopharma, and biomedical devices. Internationalization is a, is a major aim of the Institute now. Recognizing the value of internationalization international collaboration, the Institute has signed MOUs with many foreign institutions for collaboration in academic and research activities. The list of the, the, the total collaborations that we have now in the recent past includes the University of Melbourne, University of Technology of Troyes, Ecole Centrale de Nantes, National Research Tom's Polytechnic University, KTH Royal Institute of Technology, Lund University, Lulia University of Technology, McMaster University, University of Calgary, University of Ontario, University of Texas at Dallas, University of Miyazaki, National Ilan University, Chula Longhorn University, the Nelson Mandela African Institution for Science and Technology. During the financial year 2015-16, the Institute received 412.7 lakhs from 750 don donations made by 642 donors, comprising 461 from within the country and 181 from abroad. We are grateful to the illustrious alumni like Professor Ashok Sen, who has contributed towards naming the conference room in the physics department after his teacher. Mr. Taranbir Singh has contributed towards faculty recruitment fund. Dr. Ravinder Kumar Sakuja has contributed the Sakuja Innovation Center. Mr. Bhadresh Shah has contributed towards promoting scientific research in the institute. 
Several awards, medals, and scholarships have been instituted at IIT Kanpur with generous support from donors, alumni, and well-wishers. Like Dr. Kailash N. Srivastav has instituted Professor L.P. Singh Power System Research Award to be awarded to the MTech student of electrical engineering every year. Mr. Vashtev Dattaram Navelkar has instituted Radha Bhai Vasudeo Navelkar Award at the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Eaton Corporation has instituted Pratibha, the Eaton Excellence Award to three deserving female students in the institute. Krish Venkatramanan Krishnan has instituted Jayalakshmi Scholarship to be awarded to a female student in the BTEC program. Mr. Swapan Sengupta has instituted Sengupta Grant. Dr. Ashok K. Jain has instituted Mrs. Shanti Jain Memorial Scholarship. Dr. Ramesh Chandra Srivastav has instituted BP Srivastav Scholarship. Mr. Santosh Mehra and Mrs. Anita Mehra have instituted Anita and Santosh Mehra Scholarship. Other noteworthy contributions have been made by batches of 1965, the pioneer batch, 1989, and 1990 towards social and other initiatives such as Opportunity School, Campus School, etc. Professor Tapan Bakchi, and an alumnus and a former faculty, has extended his generous support for a new shopping complex in the campus. Search 2015, an outreach program for students from institutions across the country, supported by alumni contributions, was carried out during the summer of 2015, which saw participation of 64 students from various institutions across India, mentored by 55 faculty from IIT Kanpur. And these 64 students were chosen from altogether 2,200 applications received from various institutions across the country. Some notable achievements by our alumni. Some of our distinguished and respected alumni members have been proud recipients of various honors and awards during the financial year 2015-16. Dr. Rakesh K. Jain, BTEC Chemical Engineering 1972, has been conferred upon the prestigious award National Medal of Science in USA. Dr. Jain is the first IIT alumnus among all IITs to be the recipient of this highest honor for science in USA. Dr. Saurav Shivastav, the man known for his immense contribution to the Indian IT industry and for leading the creation of a vibrant entrepreneurial ecosystem in India, was awarded Padma Shri. Professor Veena Sahajwala has been awarded for innovation under 2015 AFR Westpac 100 Women of Influence list. Some of the notable entrepreneurial endeavors by our alumni are worth noting. For example, Shuttle launched in April 2015 by IIT Kanpur alumnus Dipangshu Malviya and his colleagues are now operational in Delhi. The platform provides shuttle services to commuters across 50 routes and 500 buses and handles 15,000 rides every day across the metropolitan area. In cashier.com, a doorstep free service for collecting all unused stuff from the locations was launched by IIT Kanpur alumnus Rahul Jaiswal. The institute always is very keen to recruit highly talented faculty. We appointed 17 new faculty members in the last one academic year. Awards and honors bestowed on our faculty colleagues. Our faculty has played a significant role in pushing the frontiers of knowledge, and this has been duly recognized in the form of various awards, honors, including fellowships of professional societies and editorship of international journals. It gives me enormous sense of pride to share with you that Professor Yogesh Joshi, Department of Chemical Engineering, has been conferred the prestigious Shanti Sharup Bhatnagar Prize for Engineering Prize 2015. Professor S. Ganesh has been elected a fellow of the Indian Academy of Sciences, Bangalore. 
Dr. Nitin Gupta received World Bank, sorry, Welcome Trust DBT Intermediate Fellowship. Professor Shandeep Shukla and Dr. Shilpi Gupta received Ramanujan Fellowships from SCRP. Dr. Ashish Patra received JSPS Invitation Fellowship. Professor Sandeep Verma has been elected a fellow of the Indian National Science Academy. Professor Manash Gurai and SN Tripathi have been elected fellow of the National Academy of Sciences, India, Allahabad. Professor Devabrati Goswami has been elected a fellow of the Royal Society of Chemistry. Professor SN Tripathi and Professor Avinash Agarwal received, were elected as fellows of the Indian National Academy of Engineering. Dr. Jayagantan J. Rao, received prestigious Birla Science Prize. Professor Manindra Agarwal received Nasi Reliance Platinum Jubilee Award of the National Academy of Sciences. Nitin Saxena and Nilesh P. Gurao were awarded INSA Young Scientist Medal for 2015. Professor K. Shrihari received Bronze Medal from Chemical Research Society of India. Professor Gurunath, Professor Jain Murthy, Professor Sandeep Verma, all from chemistry, delivered the Platinum Jubilee Lectures of the Indian Science Congress in 2015. Professor Amlendu Chandra received silver medal from the Chemical Research Society of India. Professor J.K. Behra was selected for the Department of Atomic Energy Science Research Council Outstanding Investigator Award 2014. Tarun Gupta has been awarded Scopus Young Scientist Award 2015 by National Academy of Sciences. Professor Kripa Shankar and Professor Deepak Majumdar received Outstanding Teachers Award of the Indian National Academy of Engineering for 2015. The many prestigious scholarships and awards received by our students have also been a matter of pride and pleasure for all of us. Pranav Ravindra Manrekar, Arpit Srivastav, Aryan Jain, Shruti Agarwal, Saksham Sharma received the Aditya Birla Scholarship. Nishar received ACC Fellowship. Akshay Vijay Chaudhary, Piyush Jain, Richa Agarwal, Semanti Mukhopadhyay received the OP Jindal Scholarship. Saksham Agarwal and Hardik Panwara received Honda Yes Prize. Sanchari Shen Sharma, Ila Barshila, and Yashika Sharma received Pratibha Eaton Awards. We awarded PG degrees, so let me uh, uh, mention a few of the PG education programs in the recent past. IIT Kanpur has come a long way in terms of its focus and priority. Today, the institute nurtures and graduates more number of students in the PG than in the undergraduate level. The PG program at IIT Kanpur is aimed at developing scientific and engineering manpower of the highest caliber and motivation for research and innovation and provide leadership role in respective domains. The training here encompasses both breadth with a broad grasp of fundamental principles and depth in specific scientific specializations. While a scholar must be the knowledge, most knowledgeable professional in the narrow scope of his or her thesis, we emphasize that besides quality and quantum of intellectual output, the individual must acquire enough skill for articulation, interaction, innovation, and definition of the future challenges so as to make a lasting impact towards the profession and humanity. The country desperately needs more teachers and researchers in engineering for inclusive growth and prosperity. The PG program of IIT Kanpur must fill that, fill that void. In 2015, a new postgraduate academic program called Master of Science MS by Research has been initiated in the following departments, chemical engineering, civil engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, computer science and engineering. We hope that many more departments will soon adopt this provision. Activities related to the PG students also give us immense pride. The institute has recently introduced the practice of organizing the Research Scholar Day in each department to provide an opportunity to the doctoral students and scholars to showcase their research output through oral or poster presentations and engage in extensive discussion with their peers, colleagues, and the faculty members. This exercise has certainly added new vigor and enthusiasm in the academic community and should boast the research culture 
through more of interaction and complementarity. About 300 companies actively participated in campus placement program at the PG level. Some of the major companies that took part in recruitment drive were Google, Facebook, Mitsubishi, Slumberger, American Express, SAP, ITC, and so on. Through placement, though placement in industry is not the main focus of many PG students, yet among the 411 PG students registered for placement this year, 280 got placed through SPO. Amongst the various programs, the MDES degree has the highest percentage of placement of 100%, followed by dual degree at 93%, MBA 80%, MTech 64%, and MSc two years 60%. Apart from regular placement offers, other 108 pre-placement offers were also made to our PG students. We take pride in informing the feats achieved by distinguished postgraduate alumni. PG alumni of IIT Kanpur has earned national and international recognition by making significant contribution to the world of science, technology, business, and innovation. Dr. Gopal Balasubramaniam, Professor, Molecular Biophysics Unit, ISC Bangalore, and Dr. Padyat Ghosh, Professor, Department of Inorganic Chemistry, Indian Association for Cultivation of Science, won Shanti Sharab Bhartnagar Award in 2015 in biological and chemical sciences, respectively. Dr. Ravindra Kumar Gattam Raju, Senior Professor, Department of Nuclear and Atomic Physics, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Mumbai, and Dr. Mahan Mitra, who is now ordained as Mahan Maharaj by Ramakrishna Mission, Professor, professor School of Mathematics, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, received 2015 Infosys Prize in Physical Sciences and Mathematical Sciences. Dr. Indranil Banerjee, Presidential Fellow, Novartis Institute for Biomedical Research, is the recipient of Pfizer Research Prize 2016. Dr. Archishman Ghos, Postdoctoral Fellow, International Center for Theoretical Sciences, received Fundamental Physics Breakthrough Prize 2016. And Dr. Rohan Irande, Postdoctoral Research Associate, Rice University, received Eli Lili Outstanding Thesis Award 2014. Dr. Navin Vetcha, staff engineer at Mantech, lecturer at UAH, won Outstanding Young Mechanical Engineer of the Year 2016 by ASME. And Dr. Alive Roy, research engineer at GE Global Research, has been awarded with the second prize in IEEE Industry Applications Society thesis contest. Ms. Jyoti Mishra is selected as the director Business Strategy and Planning, American Express. Professor Ashwini Nangya has been appointed the director of the CSIR National Chemical Laboratory, Pune. Mr. Nikhil Upadhyay, co-founder and CEO at RF Unmanned Systems, have been awarded for positioning the company among the top 10 companies in the Qualcomm Design in India Challenge. The total grant in aid received during the financial year 2015-16 from MHRD under the plan and non under the non plan was 199.85 and under plan 197.5 crore. Per student, the government invested about rupees 6.25 lakhs in the last financial year at IIT Kanpur. The institute recognizes competing priorities of government funds and hence the need to augment internal resource for enhancing research capabilities and provide more enriched student experience is felt like never before. This allows me to make a fundraising appeal to all the students who are graduating today and also melt into the greater fraternity of 30,000 plus alumni community of IIT Kanpur. We have several initiatives like faculty chairs, young faculty research fellowships, scholarships, awards for students, community outreach activities, student projects, student travel, grant infrastructure, and various research projects 
which have gained immense success. The Institute is now keen to build on these accomplishments and strengthen the ties with the alumni. I encourage you to extend your gracious support towards bolstering the Institute's R&D environment and thus enthuse the students and faculty of IIT Kanpur. Dear students, on this magnificent assembly of the 49th Convocation, I congratulate and commend each one of you on your praiseworthy achievements and extend my best wishes to the entire class of 2016 graduating today. I also admire your parents for their patience and relentless inspiration to you to reach this summit. Today, you have set yourself apart with flying colors from the millions of students aspiring for the coveted degree from this cycle of learning by your intelligence, perseverance, and a desire for rising above the average with a lofty goal in mind. Now that your voyage towards the real world begins, I would like to share some of my thoughts with you. During your exposure at IIT Kanpur in the pursuit of science and truth, you have been able to contribute something to the bigger domain of knowledge and that's how civilization advances. Lord Rutherford, the father of nuclear physics, lucidly explained, science goes step by step. Scientists are not dependent on the ideas of a single man. But one of the combined wisdom of thousands of men, all thinking of the same problem and each doing his little bit, to the great structure of knowledge. Before you graduate and melt into your professional life, I would like to request you to give a few moments of solitary rumination over the following questions that you should ask yourself. What did I earn? What did I learn? What do I want? What do others expect of me? And what can I give back? May God bless you with health, happiness, and peace. May you prove yourself a worthy son or daughter of this great nation. May each one of you scale so high that we never tire of extolling you and basking in your glory. Above all, may your unstinted effort turn victorious sooner than later. Namaskar and Jai Hind. So I request the Chairman, Board of Governors, to give his address. Professor Rao, Professor Tripathi, Professor Manna, members of the Senate and the faculty of the IIT, and most important, all of you students who today received your degrees after an arduous course of study. Rather late in the proceedings, but it is my privilege to extend my welcome to all of you. May I congratulate all of you who have received your degrees today, offer my very best wishes for the future. And uh, this event today is a major milestone. It's a day which one will always remember, I think, for the rest of your lives. I've had the honor of being the chairman of this great institute for only a few months, and so I'm still quite new on the job. However, during my not-so-short career, I have interacted with many of the alumni of the IIT Kanpur and have been greatly impressed by their capabilities and their contribution to national life. The quality of any institute is determined by the quality of its products. 
And for this reason, IIT Kanpur is rightfully acknowledged as amongst the very best institutes and education institutions in the country. We have been placed, I believe, among the first, 50th best universities in Asia. All of you who are graduating today have the task of taking forward this legacy. The government recognizes the technical capabilities of the Institute. We are leading the imprint program intended to modernize engineering education and enable technology to further our needs for development and self-reliance. We are one of the IITs involved in the Ganga River Basin Management Project. This IIT is also in the forefront of the startup programs and many of our alumni have done outstanding work. I believe the main reason why I was appointed to the post of chairman here is the government's desire that there should be a much closer interaction between industry and such educational institutions. It is an unhappy reality that over the years we have not been able to bring industry and academia closer in their functioning. Closing this gap is undoubtedly an essential step towards realizing the priority objective of making in India and thereby creating employment opportunities for the millions of young people who will be entering the workforce every year. Creating productive work jobs for them is essential to create a more equitable society, reducing the tensions that will inevitably develop between the haves and the have-nots if we do not provide employment for the young people who are coming into the market. The consequences of a failure to do so are not difficult to visualize and should be a matter of concern to each and every one of us especially those who have their whole lives before them. We need to realize that industry in India is working in an increasingly competitive environment. Anything that would help the competitiveness of industry is most welcome. At the same time, industry would be reluctant to make investments in any activity where it is not possible to see a reasonable return on the capital employed. I believe the Senate and the faculty of the IITs need to vigorously debate on the changes required to make this happen and to closely interact with industry leaders before making those changes. Over the last 65 years of planned development, India has made outstanding progress in several areas. These are there for us to see and are a matter of national pride. But these achievements should not result in our overlooking our failures. As I have said, the biggest challenge we face is creating productive and sustainable jobs for our population. We have, over the years, helped our weaker sections to survive by implementing programs to provide temporary employment like Manrega and by giving various subsidies. However, these schemes were not accompanied by actions that would lead to creating enough jobs that would be permanent and value adding. The challenge before us to make this happen and rapidly growing the manufacturing sector. Making in India has to be accompanied by making quality in India, and making at costs that are competitive. There is no place in today's world for products that are not competitive in terms of costs and quality. The manufacturing sector, which has remained at 15 to 16 percent of GDP, will only grow if we manufacture competitively. Customers want good, reliable, and consistent quality at reasonable prices, in most instances, they have a choice of what to buy. 
Therefore, products that do not measure up to expectations of quality and performance will not sell. This would be even more relevant for products that are exported. This is where institutions like ours become critical. Technology is one of the key inputs required for designing and manufacturing products that delight customers and give them ever-increasing value for their money. The best minds that are trained to harness technology to achieve this end are required by industry. Today, degrees will be, have been conferred on those who have completed their postgraduate studies. I believe some of you will go on to do further research in academic institutions or in industry, while some will teach. In either case, I hope you will bear in mind the necessity of directing your efforts towards making Indian industry more and more competitive in quality and cost by the use of your knowledge. I'm aware that in the past, a large percentage of IIT graduates sought employment outside India, mostly in the USA. That is understandable as opportunities in India were limited and the future did not look very bright. However, things are changing. India now is one of the two fastest growing economies in the world. New and exciting avenues are open in various areas of economic activities, and the future is exciting. This opportunity should not be lost. I'm also aware that graduates from the IITs have largely avoided working in the manufacturing sector. They have preferred to work in IT, consulting, or change track and go into the financial services area. The financial rewards in these services are much higher than in the manufacturing sector, especially in the short term. However, we have now reached a stage in our national life where we need to take a longer term view of our country, our responsibilities, and our future. If we look at the history of economic development in countries like Japan, Korea, and China, we will see that each one of them moved from quite low levels of income to fairly high levels in 20 years or so, and to very comfortable levels in 30 years. Just one generation. All of you who are either completing your postgraduate studies or are graduating, which will be tomorrow, in my view, of about five decades of active life and six decades of uh, living is before you. It's a long time, much more than the time which is required to transform a country. Where would you like to spend these, this time? If you decide that India is where you would like to live because the glitter of the West is losing its shine, I believe it becomes a logical necessity to ensure that in the next two decades, we make India into what other countries have done in 20 years. It is people like you here who can make this happen. You are the intellectual elite of the country. You have received the best of education. These facilities have been created by the people's money. You have received education at a fairly low cost. You need to think whether this creates any moral obligation to put your intellect and knowledge at the service of the nation and lead the dev development revolution. Remember, doing so would not only would doing so would be not only in your interest, but will also ensure a brighter future for your children and grandchildren. Think long term. India is a democracy. Making changes in a democracy is a slow process, especially in a country which has a large population and large number of people who are unable to avail of the necessities for a decent life. However, the young people are demanding rapid change and growth, and the political system is recognizing this demand. This is what is making opportunities for people like you to make a contribution where it may count. You may not be financially as well off in the short term by doing so, as perhaps you would be followed by going into the financial segment. But you would certainly be quite comfortable in your life. 
when India becomes a larger economy, say within the next two or three decades, all of you would be much better off, I believe, by following the manufacturing sector than by just looking for short-term gains in the financial sector. I urge you to take a long-term view. On behalf of the board and myself, I can assure you that we will do our very best to ensure that this institution plays an ever-increasing role in contributing to the priority areas of national life. Thank you very much, and once again, all my best wishes for your future health and success. Now I request the Chairman, Board of Governors, to introduce the Chief Guest. It is now my privilege and honor to introduce our Chief Guest and request him to speak. Professor Satish Tripathi, as you know, has been said earlier, is the President of the University at Buffalo. He is a, a very renowned academician and uh, an Indian who has gone to the United States. He has made a name for himself and has succeeded to a level where there's no doubt that he's one of the highest. Uh, was at the he was the visiting professor of several universities. He is on the board of the Association of American Universities, the Association of Public and Land Grant Universities. He is a co-chair appointed by the governor of New York of the Regional Economic Development Council for Western New York. He has, to his credit, more than 200 highly acclaimed papers, and he has had more than 30 students who have been doing doctoral and postdoctoral studies under him. I personally, and I think all of us in IIT Kanpur, Professor Tripathi, are very grateful that you have had uh, given us this time to come here all this distance and to speak to us today. I'm sure all our students are looking forward to hearing you because I think you have a lot to tell us about how to go about from uh, ordinary beginnings and make a great success of one's life by sheer toil and hard work. So, Professor Tripathi, may I request you to favor us with your comments. Good afternoon. I would like to begin by extending my warmest welcome and greetings to Mr. Bhargava, Chairman of the Board of Governors, Professor Manna, Director of IIT Kanpur, Professor CNR Rao, congratulations again. Members of the Senate, distinguished guests, graduating students, family and friends. First of all, congratulations to class of 2016. <clears throat> Today you join a large and prominent group of global alumni of one of the India's most distinguished universities an institution that is known around the world as a leader in science and technology. It is my great honor to take part in this annual convocation celebration of this distinguished institution. Many of my friends have studied here, and I've had pleasure of interacting with faculty and students on many previous visits here. I also had the good fortune of working with many students from IIT Kanpur in my research group at the University of Maryland. One of those students, a 1990 batch computer science graduate named Praveen Bhagwat, finished his PhD in my lab and is today an entrepreneur in India. Among many accomplishments, he has produced a full-length documentary called 
through our eyes, which captures the life-changing transformation that students undergo here at IIT Kanpur. If you have not seen the movie, I highly recommend it. I saw it. It's about uh, two hours long, and it's available on YouTube. It was not so very long ago that I was sitting where you are now, eager to take my newly acquired degree, knowledge, and skills, and put them to the test in the real world. And at the same time, I know that today you face many challenges and opportunities that I never could have imagined as a college graduate in the 1970s. The world you are entering as a graduate today has changed and continues to change as at an incredibly rapid pace. The 21st century landscape is very much a global world driven by data economy. Over the last several decades, the industrial age has given way to the information age. And that change has connected the world across borders of all kinds. Knowledge and information are common languages that connect us across disciplines and industries and across national borders and cultural boundaries. At the same time, this global, globally networked world has led to an explosion of information, one that is expanding exponentially at all times. This comes with great challenges as well as tremendous opportunities for you as the future leaders of business, industry, and academia. On the one hand, there is unprecedented amount of knowledge, information, and data at our fingerprints and ready to be shared at any time, any place. And with the rise of mobile networks and social media, this explosion of big data is not slowing down. It is really just getting started. The problem is that our intellectual resources have not kept up, not kept pace with this information explosion. We do not currently have sufficient intellectual capacity to make informed decisions about this flood of data or to harness it effectively. As the sheer amount of information grows, the problem of how to manage and use it wisely grows as well. By the year 2020, annual data production is expected to grow by 43 times of the current amount. Today, 3 billion people are connected on the internet. By the year 2020, an estimated it is estimated that 75 billion devices will be connected to the internet. Eight zettabytes of new data was created last year alone. That's more than the previous 5,000 years combined. Sorting through this data and putting it to effective use, rather than being overwhelmed by it, is an even greater challenge. We need knowledgeable leaders like you, educated experts who can help business and industry understand how to translate this information into usable intelligence and how to move from simply collecting to strategically collect connecting data to make valuable insights and discoveries. Data science is increasingly playing a critical role as a research tool. For example, in astronomy, it is helping to identify new stars and galaxies. In material science, the field of big data analytics is helping to design new materials that are transforming how people live and work around the world. And data science is having a profound impact in the health sciences. Just as one example, in a very recent article, I think it was on June 7th, New York Times reports that Microsoft scientists have demonstrated early diagnosis of pancreatic cancer by analyzing search engine queries. It's very hard to diagnose pancreatic cancers. Actually, it's diagnosed very late. 
by just looking at the search patterns and data from the people who are probably going to develop the cancer, they have really very high success rate. The paper was published in Journal of Oncology. The amount of new technical information is doubling every two years, which means that keeping the curriculum relevant and timely is a great challenge in every field, especially in science and technology field. That is not to say what you learn in your first years here at IIT Kanpur is already obsolete. But it does mean that even more than what you have learned, how you learn and approach problems is incredibly important. And as the expertise you have gained here at IIT Kanpur has prepared you well to be nimble in face of rapid changes. First, in an increasingly, in increasingly global world, your ability to make connections, to engage with and learn from diverse perspectives will be key to your success. Secondly, in an increasingly information-driven world, analytical talents like yours will be in great demand. Many of the fields in the greatest demand today did not exist even a few years ago. Social media, big data analytics, cloud computing are few to name. So, com so to compete and contribute meaningfully as an educated citizen of this global world, you need to be prepared not just to lead in your field of expertise, you need to be ready to lead in fields that don't yet exist. And as a globally recognized center of innovation and excellence, IIT Kanpur has been preparing you to do just that. These are lessons for a rapid, rapidly changing world and unprecedented future that will be unrecognizable in so many ways from our past. Yet, at the same time, these lessons about the value of staying flexible and nimble, the importance of learning from multiple perspectives, and the willingness to take risk have held true across many generations of change and evolution. Over the course of your education, I suspect you have heard enough advice to last a lifetime. But if you have patience for one more piece of advice, I would like to share a few principles I have learned and lived by over many decades. Principles I think of as timeless. I hope they will serve you well as they have served me. The first is this. Set long-term ambitions, but always be ready to change course. I know that each of you has set a very ambitious course, and many of you are well on your way down this path already. I applaud your bold ambitions and initiative. At the same time, I would caution each of you not to be so fixed in your intentions that you choose New, that you close new doors before they open. It is critical to cultivate a degree of intellectual nimbleness, so you are ready to seize new opportunity when it comes along, and ready to create your own opportunities. I was a college student myself when I first understood the truth of this. I come from a long line of educators, and I have been focused on education most of my life. But I never would have envisioned that one day I would have the opportunity to lead a major North American research university. As a young person, I hope, through hard work and perseverance, that I might one day become a high school principal following my father's footsteps. And I would have taken great pride in that achievement. But other opportunities presented themselves along the way. And I am grateful to the mentors and peers who encouraged me to pursue them. That brings me to my second point. Be self-reliant, but always seek out the opportunity to learn from 
and with others. As a college student in India and later as a graduate student overseas, I found that the opportunity to exchange new ideas and discoveries with other intellectually curious, energized students helped to shape my path in profound and lasting ways. India's greatest institutions, including your own, have produced many top leaders in the academy, in the professions, and in business and industry today. The opportunities you have had to engage with some of these great thinkers will surely open up new horizons for you as it did for me. I am a firm believer that the truly big ideas and important discoveries take place in the interaction of fields. They include many minds working together, approaching the same problem from different angles. This is the basis for nearly all the important discoveries emerging from the world's labs, studios, and clinics today. No matter how brilliant your idea, be sure to test it against other theories and look at it from other vantage point. It will almost certainly be even stronger for that. Of course, being willing to step aside of your own perspective and open your work up to the criticism of others requires a certain amount of risk. And that is my final principle. I would like to share that with you today. Plan strategically and carefully, but always be willing to take risks. I took risks in the 70s when I ventured outside the established field of statistics to explore computer science. I had no clue what computer science was. At a time, only a handful of scholars were working in this field. And over the course of my academic career, I have ventured into the unknowns again and again. From my first faculty position at Maryland to launching a new engineering school at University of California, Riverside, I had opportunity to lead major universities, but I believe that I had taken a lot of risk, and I think that's very important for today as you will be changing fields you're not going to have one job for your life like I had. And I'm very pleased to tell you that every day, new opportunities present themselves. Of course, there is no magic formula for success. There comes a point when each of us must choose our own way. You are at that point right now. You are ready to chart your own course forward building on the knowledge and the and first principles you have learned as students here, here at IIT Kanpur. Today's world is very much a globalized one. And as graduates of a global university with an international reputation, you are very well positioned to lead and contribute in this world. As graduates, you are ready to make a profound difference in the next generation of global leaders in your fields, here in India and around the world. Congratulations and all the best wishes for much success. I request Chairman Board of Governors to present the memento to Chief Guest. Everybody, please rise for national anthem. Mm -hmm. 
जनगण मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंग विंध हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्छल जल धितरंग तब शुभ नामे जागे तब शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तब जय गाथा जनगण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे आय hereby declare the conclusion of the first session of the 49th convocation Okay, congratulations to all of you. Uh, there is an announcement for award winners. Uh, uh, the press people might uh, like to have some interactive session with the award winners. So there is a request from press people that award winners are requested to stay back in this auditorium for a photograph session. students hello there another announcement students should go from the uh, from this right gate the gate towards the iwd